Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So I do apologise for my voice. Um, I am recording this when I think I'm coming down with a chest infection. So I sound um, more croaky than usual basically. So yeah, um, I have very fortunately received some happy mail from the lovely Kathleen um, who saw a few videos of mine a few months ago where I said I was really interested in the Starjoy Gold 120 coloured pencils but in the UK these are quite expensive um, compared to what they are in the US so she kindly contacted me and offered to send me this um, and I was just uh, so like I just don't know I don't know how to express um, the level of gratitude that it deserves because I'm just so fortunate um, that she sent me it and it was so so kind of her um, I'm just going to pause the video because I've forgotten the other things that she also sent me so I'm just going to go and get them I'm not firing on all cylinders because obviously I'm not feeling too great so I'll be back in a sec okay now I think I've got everything I need so she sent me these absolutely beautiful Starjoy pencils. I'm so 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 grateful for them. Thank you so much Kathleen. Um, I really appreciate it. And then in the package there was also this lovely diamond painting pen which I've actually used. Um, I only used it yesterday actually and um, yes yeah, definitely more comfortable to use. So yeah thank you so much. I was not obviously expecting these other little bits and pieces as well so thank you for that because she knows that I do diamond paint now and again then she also sent me these which are finger gloves and um, I wouldn't have known what they are unless she'd actually written at the top there so you can use them for smudging um, metallic crayons or gel crayons which I'm going to try these out because it's a brilliant idea I think she might have seen my um, the video where it was a four part series um, in the worlds within worlds Kirby Roseanne colour along where I use my um, Sennelier metallic oil pastels I think they are yeah metallic oil pastels and I was using just a like plastic glove which also tore so yeah she's sent me that so thank you so much for that I'm looking forward to trying them out then she knows that I really like bees as well so she sent me this lovely sticker which I think I'm going to put on one of my um, cupboards um, where I store all my lovely crafty colouring stuff so yeah gorgeous gorgeous sticker thank you so much for that as well and then she sent me this lovely card um, which is so beautiful to say thank you and I'm supposed to be saying thank you and then she also sent me this lovely little great artist sticker so yeah it's just a thank you message inside as well um, which I'm so grateful to have received so yeah the star joy pencils the star of the show actually um, well, in this video anyway so I have swatched them out so this is like the information leaflet and I have swatched them out and they are really lovely I mean they're smooth they remind me of a, a polychromous but softer so much softer polychromous but I really do like them they're very nicely pigmented and uh, yeah the only thing is the order here I know there's a logic to it in terms of being able to blend certain colours together the information is at the back regarding you know what colours go together but um, I want to put them in an order where I feel that it makes sense to me so for example like these orange here I would really want to put with the oranges there and then these other shades of yellow I'd like to put with all the other yellows so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in my own little order and then I'm going to put them in this case which I did purchase because like I said I'm on a low spend so I only can spend once a month when I get paid so this was part of that um, and then I'm going to put these beautiful pencils in there and I think um, I've got my let me just see bear with me so this is where I swatch all my pencils in this little book here and um, I think I'm going to put these pencils in the order that I want 
um, and then that works for me basically and then um, I'm going to put them in the pencil case and then I think I'm going to try them out a little bit and maybe you know possibly even do a little colour and chat but we'll see uh, how that goes so yeah I'm going to put them into an order that I like and then okay so um, I have sorted all my uh, Star Joy pencils out in an, roughly in an order that um, I think will work for me I haven't yet swatched them into my pencil swatches book so I will have to do that in my own time um, so then it's just easier for me to use so I've taken a few colours out because I'm going to use them to just colour a little bit on camera and so yeah that's what I've done I've put my blacks, greys then I've got some browns, some reds um, pinks, sort of peach colours, neutral colours and then yellows, orangey colours um, lilac, reddy purples actually, red purples uh, lilac purples into the blues of which there's loads of blues which is really nice and there's lots of greens as well uh, I have to say I do think it's um, lacking in like a true reds so yeah this is like a ladybug red but there's no real red reds um, there's some lovely pinks gorgeous pinks you've got some like the hot pink type colours and then the soft pinks and stuff so lots of pinks but I think they do lack in reds browns are slightly limited but not as much as the reds I think but there's gorgeous range of blues greens um, I quite like um, oranges are okay as well so lots of pinks so yeah um, still really 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 grateful for receiving these from Kathleen so yeah I'm going to do a little bit of colouring not for too long because my voice is um, sort of not particularly nice to listen to uh, so yeah so this this is a page I'm colouring in Rooms and Wonder and um, I did have a video showing the Artex soft pastels which they sent me quite kindly um, to sort of show on the channel, share on the channel and um, I sort of did this page which I still haven't done the voiceover of yet because um, because of my voice basically I don't want it to really sound like this on, you know for a review type video uh, so yeah um, I've done this bit but not with, with the voice recorded yet so I'm going to work on this pot I think and I'm going to make it sort of brown and sort of use browns and greys I think I think that's what I'm going to do so I've chosen some colours so I'm starting off with the what's this, brown, sienna brown light lovely smooth lay down absolutely you know the lay down is beautiful so far um, so yeah just gonna go ahead and lay this down so there is a, a couple of reviews actually I think I did well not I don't really call them reviews I call them unboxings and initial impressions really um, I did show the uh, color your new book which was the um, the Wonderful Little World Volume 3 book on the channel and of course the Artex Soft Pastels um, and that's it really I think, I can't even remember um, and of course these are my this is the lovely pencil happy mail from Kathleen and yeah I mean I have I don't know when I'm going to re um, I think I'm going to release this video let's see when I've scheduled it for scheduled it for the 14th of March so by then you should have seen my get to know me tag as well because I do like to do videos in um, advance like 
a week or sometimes even more in advance. I hope you really don't mind listening to my croaky voice because and I hope it's not irritating. Um, yep, so that's my Sienna Brown Light and now I'm going to go with Sienna Brown. You can see I haven't um, erased these pastels too well on the edges of the thing but you're not going to be able to see it anyway so once I put a coloured pencil over it so getting in a little bit more so yeah just putting the dark colour on top yep seem to be blending just how I would want them to so like I say I described these as quite similar to it's like a really softer version of the polys in my view I know it's quite subjective isn't it pencils and how they feel and things so yeah you should have seen my get to know me tag um, the previous Friday and also I should have relieved my colouring released my colouring bag video as well so what have I got planned um, I'm gonna release the Artex uh, review video hopefully on the 17th of March but I want to wait for my voice to get a little bit better so I can film it in a few days time so I don't sound quite as croaky as I do right now I mean I do feel a little I do feel like bunged up you know with with um my nose feels a bit bunged up and all I feel a bit under the weather because of the cold but I don't feel too bad and then obviously my voice my throat's a bit dodgy but I mean I suppose I get tired quickly I do feel like, like I'm getting tired quicker when I do something so so that one was the Sienna Brown and then now I'm going on to the Burnt Orca but yeah I was so excited I received these pencils um, last week I think it was yeah I think it was the beginning of the week I can't remember actually now but it was last week and I was so excited so so excited with the package because I've been looking forward to them for a while and of course snail mail actually Royal Mail in the UK are a bit slow at least they're not striking anymore which is really good so this is adding a bit more red to uh, I really am liking how these pencils lay down I'm enjoying colouring with them um, so yeah quite not quite very pleased with them actually this is on a book that most of us probably have as well Joanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder so yeah that's channel I don't really know what I'm going to do after that I've not really got any other video plans I did want to do like a partial colour along but I'm going to have to check if I have time for that because I am actually fairly busy this month so I'm not too sure with if I will get a partial colour along done um, so yeah the other thing um, is that I am filming this on the 6th like I say 6th of March so I am waiting to make an order to Amazon Japan and this is what like I said, I'm only getting myself something once a month. Uh, got myself a pencil case and I am waiting to order some things, some books from Amazon Japan um, as well. And that's my February pay, so I'm allowed to do that and then I'm not going to buy anything pretty much for the rest of March and then when I get paid again at the end of March I will be able to purchase 
the two books that I am so looking forward to. I'm sure many of us are looking forward to. The new Mel Pamini Chatsi Panigitu book, which is the, the Enchanted Earth, I think. So uh, that will be with my next paycheck. And also the um, Kirby Alien World. I'm really looking forward to that one as well, because I think it's definitely something that I am interested in. So I'm just taking the light colour and going over this just to blend it all together okay let's use the greys now so I thought a bit of grey will go nice with the background I haven't finished with these circle things by the way because I need to work on them so I've got French grey too um, so yeah I I am going to finish off the bubbles on this page so I'm going to put um, some pastel coloured pencils on it and um, then probably some some sort of um, iridescent opal colour paint over the top so it looks like um, it looks like bubbles. I'm just going to colour that bit one in as well. So what else? So that's channel news. I I am um, I'm going to see if I can do like a little bit of a partial colour along. I'll see because like I said I'm going to be quite busy this month. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then now this is French Grey 3, so the first one was French Grey 2. So yeah, the other thing is that after much thoughts and like we're saving up for a house, but at the moment it doesn't look like it's going to be likely because the housing market in the housing market in the UK is not great at the moment. Um with which is not, you know, unexpected with the price of things being so high with fuel, food and things are quite difficult so there's not many people who are keen to buy at the moment and so what we've sort of been talking about me and my better half is the um, talking about doing changes to the house our current house um, that will make it nicer for us to remain here and also to sort of sort out some sort of a craft room I am very very fortunate don't get me wrong I have pretty much taken over the whole house with my colouring, art, craft, books all of that sort of stuff the whole house is pretty much you know with, filled up with my stuff filled up with my stuff and um, you know from everywhere you go you've got it the sitting room the lounge basically has got my stuff in it there's a desk in the lounge this is actually in the lounge where I'm colouring now where my filming equipment is in the lounge my books um, my desk that I'm working at now and you know now, now for the green grey and then we have another room that's attached to this lounge which is like, a, we call it the sun room because it's south facing and there's so much sun that you get particularly obviously during the summer time and spring it's really nice and in there I've got massive cupboards um, and that houses quite a lot of my stuff there is a so little sofa in there as well but it's got quite a lot of my craft stuff in there as well so I've taken all that room and all. In the landing there's a bookshelf, bookcase with all my stuff there as well. And then in one of the bedrooms, I've got, it's just like everywhere pretty much is my stuff. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make the sunroom um, sort it out a bit more. Get another desk in there for me. 
make sure that it's warmer during the winter months because that's one of the things it does get quite cold it's not a conservatory because it's got a better roof than a conservatory it's got a proper roof but it does get cold and the radiator in there is ineffective so we're going to get that sorted fit in a bigger better radiator you know the wall the wall ones where which it goes to the ceiling tall ones and um because it is a beautiful room, I mean, it overlooks our back garden where there's a gorgeous pond with koi in there. And so it's, it is really nice. So we're going to do that, however, we're still saving up because we are going to pay, obviously need money to pay for all of the changes we're going to make as well to the current house. But we, I am still going to be saving up because we are, we will move, but just maybe in two or three years time. And so the more savings we can, the more savings we can sort of save up, I guess, then the better. And um, yeah, that's basically that. So I am, I have got lots and lots, like I've got so much stuff, so much stuff. I actually need to, I am actually going to have a clear out as well. And I'm going to um, give some stuff away I think some I'll probably give to charity shops some I'll probably give to maybe local schools some to family and friends who want them and then yeah we'll see um, so yeah quite quite nice I think how this is coming out really really nice so I think I'm going to do this bit with the browns again so yes yeah, so that's the house situation it's an update there um, what else is there because I haven't done a colour on chat for quite a while um, I'm sorry for saying um as well it's a bit irritating I know I'll probably do it again so you'll have to forgive me I am looking forward to the Easter holidays, which are going to be in approximately four weeks' time. And then next week there's a couple of a couple of teacher strike days as well. One of the days is my day off anyway, so I cannot strike on a day I'm not working. But the next day I think I am going to take the strike day off so on that day I intend to fully utilize it for my fun hobbies as in this stuff's that's some art or something I might sort out some of my you know because I want to reorganize especially in Easter time I want to reorganize my art and craft stuff so I'm actually quite looking forward to that um Oh, the other thing I wanted to ask, um, if you guys know, like for example, I've got my Poskas in a case, and they don't fit very well in a case because um, they're very, very wide and thick, fat. So I want my Poskas to be like quite handy to use. I've got the not the really thin ones, the one MR. I've got the one M which are the shorter, fatter ones but they, they've still got a fine tip it's not the extra fine tip, it's just the fine tip how do you store your poskas? Um, the question is because I thought I could put them all in a pot but will they all fit in a pot because they are quite fat so yeah, I'm just thinking how best to use them So yeah, I mean it's just obvious isn't it, if you keep buying stuff you're going to run out of space and that's what my husband says that, you know, I've just got too much stuff he didn't actually use the word stuff, he used the other word which is, you know yeah I'm sure you can guess what that is, I've got too much crap basically um, but yeah, that's why, you know, stuff that books, colouring books and other books 
like textbooks and stuff that I've bought myself that I don't really use anymore. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna get rid of them. And make space for the things that I do use and so I know where things are. I do really like this colour, it's called Burnt Ochre. It's a lovely, lovely orangey. Just went over the line then a bit. It's a really nice sunny day today, although this week is supposed to snow. So I'm not looking forward to that. Apparently the temperatures are going to be the coldest that it's been so far this year which is not something I'm looking forward to because I am ready for spring I'm sure most of you are as well because March is supposed to be a spring month um, so terracotta so basically the snowdrop flowers are all pretty much out there's some daffodils are just coming out now there's a few that are out and it's going to snow, so the poor daffodils will be thinking what's going on. It's meant to be spring. So, I don't know, I just hope there isn't any snow. Because it's not like the weather isn't... The weather forecast isn't always right anyway, so... It is sometimes, but not not many times so I'm going to go over all of this with that I do really like the I do really like how it's coming out actually also I've gone really fussy as well actually this colouring chart is lasting longer than I would have expected but that's because I haven't done a colouring chart for ages my voice is getting a little bit tired now so I'll I'll um, clock off in a few minutes and have a little bit of a rest but yeah, I'm getting really fussy with my colouring as well now and, it, and I get irritated with myself because first of all, it takes me forever to choose a page even more than it used to and then I'm very fussy I'm like, I'm very, very I'm getting very critical of myself and really, I shouldn't be that critical I can't help it I just sometimes think I don't know if it's good enough I should have done better blah, blah, blah and... That's that inner critic. I need to silence it at times. I tell the kids to silence their inner critic. But I'm having trouble silencing mine, which is quite funny. Um, but yeah. Beautiful pencils. I'm really, really enjoying using them. And I think I am actually going to continue using these pencils on this page. I think the only things that I'm probably going to do in my Holbein pastel pencils are the the bubbles and the bubbles probably in the bath as well but yeah I think I'm going to use these pencils for this page um, yeah I'm going to, I think I'm going to do this bottom bit grey as well uh, so yeah I mean it's good to be a little bit critical but not too critical because then it just has a negative effect so just sharpening my pencil there but the you will have seen my colouring bag video I did pick quite a few pages to colour I have done the tarot one in the the new Lulu Mayo book I actually want to colour another Lulu Mayo page as well And I also want to colour a page in Hannah Carlson's Magical Dawn because I haven't coloured a page in that book for ages. Um, but I'm not too sure which page I'm going to colour. I do really like the double page near the front, you know, with the frog with some wings and it's got some bottles. Some, you know, magical bottles and things like that in Magical Dawn. And I was quite attracted to that page, but... I was put off because I've already started a double page in the the Japanese, you know, Yururi mouse 
sketchbook book the double page I've actually started it and um, I think I'm using my I started with the polychromas because they work gorgeously in that book and then I started to use my Derwent Light Fast and I really liked how the Derwent Light Fast work in that book so I mean the luminance work well as well in that book so it's going to take me forever to complete that double page in the Yururi book but then I really like the double page in the Hannah Carlson book as well so I'm thinking I'm going to be brave and just start it and then see if I can get it done so yeah consider these as um, these pencils uh, with with probably in the US I guess you call these the budget pencils um, but they're a bit they're priced highly here not too high but well quite high actually it's about 58 pound the last time I checked on Amazon so I'd say they're the mid-range pencils rather than budget in terms of price anyway but they do perform really well um, for a budget pencil so again I'm going back to the green grey I do really like how they work on here So, yeah, so Magical Dawn is another book. Lulu Mayo is another book that I want to work in. But like I say, it takes me forever to pick a page. And last month I did six buddy colours. And um, in a way, I mean, it was a, it was, um, it was a feat to make sure they are all done because I always, I always prioritise my buddy colours but in a way it was really good because I wasn't umming and eyeing over um, which page to colour because it was already decided I get frustrated with myself sometimes because of that just not deciding but once I started the page I'm alright usually so yeah, that's it. I can't really think of anything else to say, I don't think. Hope you're all doing well. Please let me know in the comments below. What are you uh, colouring? What are you enjoying? Is there any new books that you are really looking forward to? And um, Or are there any new supplies that you know that are coming out? I don't really... I'm always the last to know, really, things like that. Oh, um, yeah, the other little bit of news I could tell you, I guess, is that well, it's not news really, but one of my colleagues at work is going on a short trip um, with their other half to to New York. And um, so I asked her if she would at all be able to, um, I mean, obviously I'm going to pay her and everything, to get the Prisma colours, a set of 150 Prismas for me because obviously they are much cheaper in America than they are here. They're £200 here, like that's just so expensive. So if she can get me them, I'm going to pay her, probably give her a little bit extra as well for the tr for the, her trouble. And um, yeah, I would, I'm hoping that she is able to get me them because I do really want, I mean I've got a few open stock, I've got quite a few open stock but I want to um, make sure that I've got a spare set of Prismas. So yeah that's it really, that's all I've got to share really and um, I'm just going to show you how this looks so far. I think it looks alright, I think it looks, I think it's coming on nicely, I think that brown's I think I might need to darken that a little bit, maybe a dark brown colour, possibly this good earth. So I might actually darken that up a little bit um, and then we'll see. So yeah, thank you so much. I just want to say a big, big, big thank you again for these gorgeous pencils, uh, Kathleen. Um, I really, really appreciate you thinking of me and, you know, I, I just... 
you know, I just all I, I you know all I can say is thank you, but honestly, genuinely from the heart, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough really for thinking of me and being so kind as to go to all the trouble to actually send me these. Um, so yeah, thank you and everyone else. I hope you enjoy your colouring and until next time, happy colouring tick. I will come back and show you them in a, in a moment. Okay, see you in a bit.